experiences in motorcycling started out after the war. He was at Marshall at the fairgrounds with some of his friends that were racing Harleys back then. And the way I understand it, his friend went down in one of the practice sessions and they were standing there trying to decide what they were going to do and he made the comment, I can do that. And that's basically how it started. He went out and ran his first race, ended up fifth or sixth, and that kind of started him on the whole program. Ernie Beckman. I remember Ernie, he all, I'm pretty sure he always had a cigar in his mouth. I, it was dead. It was just a little stub. That was a trademark. His nickname at work was Smoke. <laughs> From the time he got up in the morning, especially when he was out of the house traveling, which he did quite a bit, First thing that he did was reach over, grab the cigar out of the ashtray from the night before and light it up. Easy going guy, always laughing, cigar in the mouth. He was, he was a classic racer. Bill and my father were quite a bit alike. You know, they, they both were individuals. They, anything they decided they wanted to do, they just kind of found a way to do it. I think Bill Tooman was a little more close with Ernie than I was, I think. But we knew them all. We knew Ernie's wife very well. We were all just like family, the Indian wrecking crew especially.